Dude, I'm in such a gamer mood today. Uh, uh, just straight up vibing and gaming. I still love how nice these cards look. I've always wanted like a, a Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh card collection, but I just didn't know how to like save them or keep them together. And I just wanted to keep Fair. looking at them. Now I can look at them safely because I have card condoms and top lo top loaders. I call them card condoms, but they're just sleeves. Okay, <laughs> listen. Also, what should we talk about? What do you, what do you guys want to do? So I guess uh, the, the National Police Association despises furries now. Did I miss something? Like, I'm seeing this all over my Twitter about, like, how they tweeted something about, like, they were attacked by malicious media. That's what it says. I mean, if furries didn't think ACAB before, I mean, I, I'd hope, you know, ACAB now. I've always been ACAB. I have family members that are in the police. And I believe ACAB. Furries were noticing how many of them were blocked by that account. Really? And that's apparently a malicious attack? Okay, let's go over something nice and fun today. Do I smell content? <laughs> It's been a hot minute since I've recorded something on a live stream before. Okay, it's Nat, Police, so and I'm blocked. Okay, well, I guess I know what the issue is. I might have to go on to my dreaded AD to see if I'm blocked. The National Police Association on Twitter. Oh, they don't have me blocked on my AD, so I can see the nonsense that they post. So, I went on my AD, and apparently they don't have me blocked. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to test something. Is it a bot? Is it a bot that they set up to auto-block anyone that tweeted anything about ACAB or Black Lives Matter? Okay, maybe I need- maybe it needs to wait a bit then. Point being, the- the National Police Association apparently has been going around and blocking all furries. Why? I don't know. But, I'm not blocked on their AD. Or my AD. I wonder if the National Police Association has an AD. <laughs> MPA 2020 year interview. Attacked by malicious media, Twitter account infested with costumed cop haters. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. The majority of us don't like cops, and I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm gonna be honest. Is there a website? Oh, God, I fucking hate this already. Pray for me, guys. I'm doing this for you. Costumed cop hater infestation. And you know there was such a thing as furries? We didn't either, but apparently it's a thing. Some of them are purp- What? Some of them are purportedly not- I love how they immediately go to the bad about furries with mentioning the Nazis. Love it. Good job. You know a media is doing a great thing when they immediately just like, hey, subject, furries? We didn't know what they are. It's a thing. Did you know some of them are bad? You know what that does? It fucking manipulates people to think that all are bad. I fucking, you know, what did I expect from the National Police Association? The furries clearly yeah. know there's such a thing as the NPA because they are now all visiting us every day, objecting to our diabolical rumor plan to block all furries. We're not objecting to it. If anything, you're saving me the trouble from blocking you. Because if I found your account, I'd block you immediately. It is unclear how a rumor started we had blocked them all. We sometimes block accounts that post obscenities on our timeline. If we notice a large amount of of obscenities posted by a group of related accounts, we will sometimes block them and their followers. So in this case, if we despise you, you're gonna set up a blockchain for everyone that might be related to that one thing that despises you. Good logic there. It is literally ass backwards logic of being like, okay, if, if these people don't like me, then all of them are awful. I mean, again, what do you expect from the police, the National Police Association? Perhaps some furries got caught up in one of those and took particular exception. A review of our timeline shows enough furries asking why they weren't blocked to indicate the rumor they were all blocked is as best hyperbole. What the- <laughs> That last sentence doesn't make much sense, but okay. What is certain is they have put out a clarion call to all furries stating the MPA is blocking all furries. Yes, because that's what you're doing! You blocked all furries! <laughs> Offended furries have taken up the call and swarmed to the MPA Twitter account to spam it relentlessly with obscene comments and graphic images, and by doing so, demonstrate the claim that the MPA blocked all furries is false. I don't think obscene comments comments is really what you I mean if you're saying like you know a cab to you is an obscene comment then yeah you know it's obscene for you but it's not obscene in general it's just it's just honesty <laughs> so there's that but it's not all bad really so you decide to put the negative news first what's the good news the defund the police crowd is quick to argue in polite company that they don't really mean defund the police well that's disappointing the furries expose the falsity of that deceptive claim cloaked by the anonymity of their costume twitter identities the furries are free to speak plainly about their beliefs. Well, we have started restricting the ability to comment on our tweets to only those accounts who follow <laughs> to protect the public from the obscene replies. Quote retweets. 
cannot be blocked. As such, our posts are inundated with quote tweets calling for the killing of law enforcement officers, not just abolishing law enforcement agencies. The costume cop haters, free to speak openly, don't just mean defund, they mean death. I mean, they just mean death to the organization. This is the same thing as ACAB. Like, when we mean all cops are bastards, or ACAB, we mean the organization. Yes, we understand that, you know, Brittany, your uncle Steve, who might be a cop, he might actually be a pretty cool guy. He might not be racist. He might not actually be on a power trip. But the organization itself is corrupt. That is what we are arguing, and that is what we're trying to reform. Either way, apparently we attacked them by sending pictures of our fursuits. You know what I saw when, it, when they mentioned National Police Association. I literally only saw fursuit pics. I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it to all of you. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. This just came up on Twitter. We're, we're playing Russian roulette on Twitter. <laughs> Sausage. Wonder if this is the uh, appalling media that they're getting sent by furries. Oh, okay, you know, maybe they were sent literally straight up furry porn. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, kind of hot. Basically, in the rest of this article that they posted about being attacked by malicious media from furries, it's just a whole lot of, like, basically bootlicking. Like, okay, so there's bad news. Let's go to the good news of all of our supporters and people that stand with us. It's like, good for you. Do they really think that that being sent furry porn on the internet is being attacked? I mean, I can understand a bit like of like a uh, you know sexual harassment to that extent, but really, really, you think that's being attacked? Basically, that's what it is. They were closed-minded and racist, and uh, they couldn't understand the the idea of us being all Black Lives Matter supportive and being a cab supportive. And that's probably why, if you if you've noticed, there's a majority of furries, if not so, just all furries that I know, support Black Lives Matters and support all cops are bastards. So it. Kind Kind of makes sense, you know, that like the National Police Association would hate us. But with their logic, it's just like, oh, they hate us? Oh, well, they're awful then. Yeah, great. No, no self-reflection on that at all. Good job. Imagine, though, the amount of furries that actually did support cops. Imagine what they're thinking now, now that they're, like, blocked. Even if you, they might not have tweeted about it or said anything about it, they're in that blockchain, too. So even if they do support cops, they're still blocked by the National Cop Association. Imagine being hated for being in a hobby, yet you support something that you're blocked by. That is hilarious. God damn. Oh, man, but Dark Wizzy. <laughs> like, here, here, look. <laughs> This account just blocks furries, and these motherfuckers blocked me when I don't even use a furry profile picture. And I'm not even a furry. So again, it just goes to show that it was, uh, you know, a chain. Who's this? Aggy. Oh, yeah, they're not even a furry either. And they're blocked by them. It's not really a sad day. Oh my god, the people replying to the tweet that now- <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We have more content here, boys and girls and non-binaries. So they tweeted out the whole thing on their account. So they posted this and you look at the replies, the fucking ratios. <laughs> I didn't even see this before, but you look at this and you see the ratios that are going through. Jesus Christ, I'm so proud. I want to go through some of these, you know, quote retweets. <laughs> I fucking love the furry fandom, man. You know how you like, you see events that happen online with regards to furries and it's like, God, I'm kind of disappointed to be a furry with how people are responding here. But in this situation, I'm so fucking proud. I would go through all of these quote retweets, but like, I'm afraid that I'm probably going to find porn because they realize, oh shit, well, we can't reply to her. Let's just put porn on her Twitter feed. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my face and I'll, I'll let you know. Yep, there is straight up furry porn here. <laughs> Let me read off a couple of these quote retweets. Bitch, you look like you want to call my manager with that hairstyle. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Linda. <laughs> Get ratioed by Tommy we so. <laughs> Oh, I thought it for a second got more likes there. Let's see if we can get this to get more likes than her tweet. Can you guys help me with that? Oh, I retweeted on my AD. Well, that's probably why people can't see it. Well, it already won. Here's the thing. Two retweets and 17 likes. Hey! Wow, she kind of looks like Edna from The Incredibles. But like, she aged poorly and grew up in a conservative household. <laughs> why am I able to show the tweet? Wait, am I blocked? No way. No way. Not already. I need to see this. Wait, no. Where'd her tweet go? Did she lock her account? Where'd she go? She locked her account! Oh my god! I'm so proud. This is the one thing where I believe that uh, cyberbullying should exist. Karen is no more. We did it. I'm so proud of all of you. Mainly me, because I was the one that did this. I take full responsibility for this. This is not the ending I thought I was going to expect, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. I've never had an adventure on Twitch go this far. In a good way. Damn, I look like a hot mess. Or maybe a cold mess, because I'm nowhere close to hot. Okay, so this is more or less a 24-hour check on that little uh, tweet that went out on my AD. 
and then a follow-up on the whole MPA situation because I learned a bit of things a little bit after the stream, so here's a little fun recording follow-up. You can't say I don't care. First off, what MPA did to sort of block all furries was they ended up setting up a blockchain associated with certain accounts. So anyone who followed a, a certain account on Twitter, you're more than likely blocked by the National Police Association, which again, nothing of value is lost. That explains why some accounts aren't actually blocked by the National Police Association and why my AD is not currently blocked by them either. And another little update on the situation, uh, they pinned the tweet. They saw that the tweet was getting traction, you know, gaining popularity. So they decided, let's make this the big thing of 2020 that puts us on top. Honestly, fuck you guys. The fact that they're trying to capitalize on this situation to make themselves look like, I guess, the better people, you know, the victims of being harassed by <laughs> furries on Twitter. It's a bit unfortunate that they did that role reversal. But again, what do you expect from an organization that is so corrupt as this? This is stupid, but at the same time, I'm so glad to see the amount of ratioing that's going on. It was at nearly 2,000 quote retweets yesterday, and 24 hours later, we doubled it. Good job, guys, on uh, ratioing the National Police Association hard. Either way, I will say it, despite this being sort of a head-ass situation, and me just not really giving a fuck about the police in general, the point is, this was a good little event to wrap up 2020. You know, all things have kind of been like shit so far, and, and obviously the NPA is turning it into a, a victimized situation. But with us, I'm gonna be honest, if anyone agrees with this article, I sure as hell wouldn't want to be friends with them to begin with. Like, if they support the NPA to this extent to read their articles on their website, I don't think I would really care if they're bashing furries in their articles saying, oh yeah, did you know that they support Nazis? It's like, one, that's false, but honestly, the people that you're pandering to, I really don't care to have on my side. You kind of get the picture with this whole situation. Realistically, this article doesn't matter as much as it's, you know, as much as it puts furries in a bad light. The audience that they're pandering to is not an audience that I want. And quite frankly, isn't an audience that furries want as a part of the fandom. So, hey, two thumbs up from me. We had a Karen Locker account because she was receiving criticism, some of which was valid, some of which was a bit insulting, most of which was just people trying to ratio her with Tommy Wiseau, which I, <laughs> I'm all for. And I'm probably going to get some crap over like, oh, you bullied an old lady off the internet, which like, hey, if you're gonna say something that's so head-ass as that, you have to take responsibility for what you say. In this situation, she disabled replies, and then she locked her account so she couldn't have people reply to her. That's just someone who's under the impression that, ah yes, my opinion is the best, but no one is allowed to critique it, and anyone who does critique it is wrong. Just really wish they would block me on my AD. I feel like that would be the cherry on top. Now, as much as this will be uploaded in 2021, this was a good event to wrap up the year of 2020. You know, some little nice thing. One nice thing to happen throughout this shit show of a year. And God, am I proud of it. Because you guys, you did good. Happy 2021, guys. Also, I'm gay.